Hey there, Simplifiers! Welcome back to Organizing with Simple Solutions, where today I am going to teach you how to assemble an emergency box for your car. And why might you need an emergency box for your car? Well, imagine that you need to wait in your car for help, or that you need to signal to somebody that you or your family is in distress while you're in your car. That is where the items in this emergency box really will come in handy. So let's get started. So what I'm going to run through for you right now is some basic supplies to put into your kit. And there may always be things that you want to add because your family has specific needs, but this is just sort of like the basic safety and should I say survival things that you might want to keep in a car emergency kit. The first thing I have are road flares and these are just snap sticks very similar to a kid's um, glow stick that you might get. You just snap them and then they glow. I put five of them into this kit. You can get them for about a dollar a piece in sets of 10 on Amazon. And I'll be sure to link to all the different products that I'm using in the description below so that you can pick up any of these items for yourself. The next thing that I recommend is a pair of work gloves because you never know when you might have to touch something icky or you might have to touch something hot. These particular ones have sort of a plastic coating on the outside which makes it better if you have to touch something sticky um, or um, if they're easier to clean off if you get something on them. So a pair of work gloves is next. You also will want a flashlight. This one here is an LED and it shines for about 100 feet. So bear in mind, don't just buy the cheapest thing out there. Make sure that it's something that if your car breaks down on the side of the road and you have to walk for a significant amount of time in the dark, you want to make sure that the flashlight that you get is going to light more than just a few feet in front of you. So an LED flashlight and you probably also want to throw in a couple of extra batteries or make sure that you write down the date that you put the batteries in so that you can either change them regularly or seasonally. Next up are medications and first aid items. I have a little plastic baggie and this is sort of a two-fold item that we put in here because the plastic baggie will hold the medication and the band-aids and the Neosporin and keep them from getting wet. But I also then have a Ziploc bag if I needed to transport something that couldn't get wet and I had to walk outside in the rain. So a Ziploc bag with your first aid medications. You may also consider putting something like Benadryl or if you have asthma medication, if you need an EpiPen, things like that would go into this medications bag. I also recommend an extra plastic bag or a Ziploc bag that you could put a roll of toilet paper in just because you never know when you might need some toilet paper on the side of the road or an extra Ziploc bag. Hand sanitizer, pretty self-explanatory in case you need to wash up grimy hands and you don't have any extra water. Bungee cords in varying sizes. I have two 24 inch and two 32 inch here. For my purposes in my small car, those two sets should be fine because anything that I would be needing to pull or hold down or tie down or hold onto the top of my car would be useful with those. But you can get sets that have multiple different sizes if you say have a pickup truck and you wanna be tying more things down and you want a nice neat place to carry all those things. A roll of duct tape always good to adhere anything to anything else. A box cutter in case you need to cut the tape or in case you would need to cut a seat belt or something like that. And I really like this particular one because when I used to work in a grocery store in my pre-organizing days, we had knives that were like this. And I really like that they have this little pop out container that you can put the razor blades in. And this is great if you have children that may have access to this box. That way, all the blades are kept away safely. You have what you need. You have a couple of extra blades in that little package, but it's not like the extra razor blades are just laying out in the box where they can be found or used. 
We also have a rain poncho in case we have to walk to get help in the rain and a notebook with paper and a thick sharpie in case you need to make a sign to put in your window on the paper that you have here and then stick it up with that duct tape that you have. I've also made this list here which is all of the items that I have shown you in this kit plus some additional things that you may want to add specifically for your family. For instance, you may want to add some snacks in there or some bottles of water. You may want to put extra hats, gloves, socks, blankets, things like that, especially if you live someplace where you have cold winters and there is that chance that you may need to wait in your car for help uh, or you may need to walk with your children to get help. So you may want to add some of that stuff into this box too. And I'll make sure that I give you a link to the Google Drive file where I have this list so you can print this out for yourself. The box that I'm using I got at Target for about $4 and it's 17 inches long by 11 inches deep. It's just a little bit bigger than a plastic shoe box. Um, it also holds 15 quarts so if you're looking for a box look for something that's around that. I really like the size on this because I think in most cars this could slide under a seat it could fit in the little like secret hideaway under the car storage that you have or it's not going to take up a whole lot of room in your trunk if you have it in there. So have I inspired you to create a car emergency box of your own or have I forgotten something that you think is really important that you think you would want to have on hand in case you needed to wait for help or signal for help? Comment below and tell me your thoughts on a car emergency box and be sure to tune back in this weekend when I will talk to you about a shelter in place kit for your home. And as always, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the organizing ideas or simplifying tips that I have for you and your family. Take care and have a happy organized day.